it's Jane. If this is the first time you are seeing my face on a screen somewhere, I just want to say hi, welcome. I would love it if you could click that subscribe button that's right down there and become a part of the Janeator fam. We're a pretty cool bunch, you know, lots of exclusive VIP members. Also, it's free, so. But if you are not a new person and you are a returning member, welcome back. It's good to see you again. So today's video is going to be a fall haul and this is a collective haul from a bunch of different places that I've been to and just acquiring things throughout the season. Um, and this is also a collab with some amazing YouTubers so I'll list their videos down below. Definitely be sure to check them out and like their videos after you have given mine a thumbs up as well. And I just want to be clear that this video isn't made to brag or say that I have a bunch of stuff. Just for the record, I purchased most of it with my own money so just wanted to put that out there. It's not to brag and just sharing this stuff with you because you guys seem to enjoy hauls. But this is the first haul on my channel so I really hope you guys enjoy it and if you want to see more hauls give a thumbs up and also thumbs up for another Falling Into Autumn with Jane video. Yeah. But anyway let's get right into the haul. Alright so the first thing I'm gonna show you is in its own category because it's the only thing I bought at this store. But I headed over to PacSun and I picked up this shirt. It is from LA Hearts and it's a really really cute little tank top and I think it would be really perfect if you wore like a cardigan over it and like some jeans and some boots. It's just, oh, it's adorable. Alright, so that was actually the only thing from PacSun, but the next store I'm going to move on to is Bath and Body Works. <laughs> so I actually got three travel size lotions and five hand sanitizers at Bath and Body Works, so I'm going to show you the lotions first. The first lotion I got at Bath and Body Works is this Wild Madagascar Vanilla Travel Size Lotion and honestly this thing smells like heaven. It's so vanilla-y, but it's not too overpowering, so this is perfect. It's just, oh, beautiful. And this next one is Cashmere Glow, which I don't actually think is necessarily a false scent. And now that I'm realizing, neither is the vanilla. But they're both really, really good and really comforting. And as soon as I put them on, I just feel at peace and not stressed out. And the last one is actually a lotion in my new favorite scent from Bath & Body Works. It's the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte Lotion. Oh my goodness, it feels like you're putting Starbucks on your body, which sounds terrible because it would get really sticky with this lotion. Oh my gosh, it's so good. All right, on to hand sanitizers. So the first one I have is Crisp Apples, and this honestly just smells so good. It smells like you're in some sort of apple orchard. Like it's really, really, really tasty. Not, not to eat. <laughs> Fun to play with, not to eat. But it smells really, really good and very, very fresh, so. Then I have this pumpkin cupcake hand sanitizer, which I actually keep on top of my vanity in a little acrylic setup because I use this every time I sanitize my hands before I'm about to put on makeup. Next I have Cozy Vanilla Cream and this one is really good. It doesn't actually smell super strong, so if you want kind of um, a folly smell but you don't want something to smell super, super strong, this is the one for you. This is Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Oh my gosh, it's so yummy smelling like one sec it's like it's almost like maple like it's maple pumpkin but it's like more mapley than pumpkin-y I don't know and the last one I have is again marshmallow pumpkin latte because heaven in a bottle my friends heaven in so that was it for the Bath and Body Works section of this haul and now on to the Target portion ah! I bought so much drugstore makeup today, you guys. Like, I, I have a problem. Okay. So I'll start out with overall face product. The first thing I picked up is this CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. And honestly, I feel like everyone has this. And so I thought, you know, I might as well get it. Like, if everyone has it and everyone loves it, why not? And it's actually the foundation I'm wearing on my face right now. So you can see it's like, it's very subtle. It also has some SPF in it too, so... Yeah. And in case you guys are wondering, I am in the color Soft Honey. The next thing I have is this Neutrogena Blemish Corrector Concealer thing, because I realized when I had a pimple that popped up out of the middle of nowhere that I only had illuminating concealers and under eye concealers, and you definitely don't want to use under eye concealer on a pimple because it'll make it super bright and like shimmery, which you do not want. So I got this... Um, skin clearing concealer and this one's actually really cool because it says it has something like micro clear technology which basically means that it's going to clean out whatever pores you're putting it on like I wonder if it has salicylic acid in it yeah it has salicylic acid so it's gonna help 
clear your skin. So the next thing I got is this L'Oreal Lumi highlighter, which is the True Match Lumi. So it looks like this. There are four different colors. Um, this is in the color compact of golden, I think. Um, and then when you open up this little bottom part, you get a little brush, which is cool. Um, I haven't used the brush yet because I used a fan brush, but this is actually a really good brush for applying highlighter because it's thin, so yeah. I'm also wearing this on my face and it's kind of hard to see, but there's like a little bit of shimmer on my cheekbones and stuff. But I am really liking this highlighter. It's super subtle, but it's like kind of sparkly and it's very, very nice. And the next thing is the NYC Sunny Bronzer. Again, everyone has this, but I felt like, you know, it had so much, it had so many good reviews, so I thought, why not just get it? You know, and it's super cheap, which is great. This is what it looks like. There's a little sun in the middle of it, which makes sense because it is the sunny bronzer. And then there is a mirror on the top. Hello. I like it because it's super subtle. Like, it, it's just really warm and it kind of blends into your skin and it's super velvety and soft. So, yeah. So now for the eyes and lip products, I'm first going to start out with this Maybelline Brow Drama. Um, basically, it's just a brow mascara that you can coat over your brows after you fill them in so that all the hair stay in place. So basically when you open it up, it just, it's a very kind of interesting wand. It's super bulbousy at the end, but yeah, it's really nice because you can use the thin part of it to comb out your brows after you have applied the product. But so far I've used it today, like it's on my brows right now and I barely even filled them in like at all. And then I just put this on, which I, and I like it because it slightly darkens it. I have the color deep brown. And my brows aren't super dark, but I find that this color works super, super well for them. So, yeah. And next, <laughs> I think I'm the only person who has never purchased this until now. I have the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in, can you guess what color it is? That's right, milk. Everyone has this eye pencil and I just never had it. So, now I do. Now all my colors will be bright and vibrant and yeah. So the next thing I bought is this Maybelline Mega Plush Mascara. I like it, it's good. It really coats all of your lashes and it's super soft putting it on, which I'm not used to, but it's good. I really like it, it's, it's very voluminizing and yeah. So I have three lip products to share with you today and the first one I'm gonna show you is this L'Oreal Collection exclusive lipstick and there's a series of purely red lipsticks. And so the color itself is called 402 Blake Red. It's a matte lipstick but the color is just beautiful. It's this beautiful matte red with sort of blue tones in it. Um, and I really like cooler toned red lipstick because I feel like with orangier toned red lipstick, it looks a lot cheaper. I don't know, I feel like bluer toned red lipsticks are a lot more rich, at least on my skin tone. Um, but of course it completely varies on what you like better. But this is actually not the color I'm wearing right now. I will show you which color I'm wearing right now. It's the Revlon Color Stay Over Time, and this is in Perennial Plum. Um, so basically what I think is really cool about this, it's like a lip stain, but it goes on like a gloss. So you have this one end with your color in it, and this is how you put it on, and it's honestly, it feels like velvet putting it on. It's so cool. And then there's the Revlon Color Stay Liquid Lipstick, which I really, really like. This color is... Premier Plum, so there's Perennial Plum and Premier Plum, and this color is similar to the one I'm wearing except it's less on the fuchsia side and it's more on like the mauve side, so it's a little more muted if you're kind of into that. So that's it for this fall haul, I really hope you guys enjoyed it, if you did make sure to leave it a thumbs up. If you go to Bath and Body Works, comment your favorite scent, I'm looking for some new candles so I would love your advice. And definitely make sure to check out the channels that are listed below for some amazing content and yeah. I will talk to you guys in my next video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.